Please give a warm welcome to your Washington District Event MC. It's first alum, Devin Langley. Good morning, guys, gals, and non-binary pals. I have been waiting all season to say welcome to the 2024 First Robotics Competition and this year's challenge, Crescendo, presented by Haas. Yeah, we're so excited to be here. Crescendo is part of our artistically driven season, first in show, presented by Qualcomm. Qualcomm is proud to empower students to bring their visionary ideas to life. We know they are all, we are all here to celebrate STEAM and shine the spotlight on all of your creativity. A big thanks to Qualcomm for their continued support of FIRST and all of you. And, of course, we are also very excited to partner with our Crescendo Season sponsor, the Gene Haas Foundation. As a leading CNC manufacturer, Haas knows that the skills you develop this season will help put you at the cutting edge of art and set the stage for your future in STEM. They also share a lot of the same values that all of we do. They know a lot about teamwork, creativity, engineering, and design on their Formula One team. Let's take a look. I'm Gary Foote and I'm Chief Information Officer for MoneyGram Haas F1 team. My role at the team <coughs> is to look after all the technology stack across our operations in the US, UK and Italy, as well as our trackside environment. Hi, my name is Peter Julian and I'm the Creative Services Manager for MoneyGram Haas F1 team. At Haas, I am responsible for all front-end design, including the livery design for the Formula One car. Hi, I'm Bojo van Brummen and I'm a Vehicle Dynamics Engineer at MoneyGram Haas F1 team. My job is to design the vehicle model of the car. As a creative in a predominantly engineering world, I have the unique challenge of designing a car livery that showcases our brand, supports our team partners, but ultimately looks great on track. Just like in your robots, it's essential for us to understand the data of the car to make the car go as fast as possible. We do this with a combination of mathematics, physics and engineering creativity. The better we can understand the data, the faster our car will go. Just like in your competition, it combines all STEAM subjects together. I work closely with the aerodynamics department and the design office to ensure that track performance quotas are met. Creativity is a hugely important part of any team and I love being able to use my artistic skills to be able to contribute to the team's success. Last year I was blown away with the creativity and engineering that you all demonstrated in last year's competition. I can't wait to see how you raise the game again and some of the ideas and solutions that you'll come up with in this year's competition. Best of luck in the competition. Good luck in the competition. From everyone at MoneyGram Haas F1 team and the Gene Haas Foundation, best of luck in this year's competition. A huge, huge thank you to the Crescendo season sponsor, Haas, and to all of our donors, from the largest companies to the small businesses and individual donors who support FIRST and FIRST teams every season with sponsorship and volunteers. We are so grateful for the time and money and dedication that you put into this program. We are also so incredibly appreciative for the surrounding community here in Washington for their support this weekend. From the Washington Community School Corporation to host teams 8116 and 8430 to our friends at Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University, this event would not be possible without each and every one of you. Let's give them a huge round of applause. Come on, you can do better than that. Fantastic. Well, to join me in welcoming you all today, we have some very important people here with us. Starting us off, we have the Washington Mayor, David Rhodes. Please welcome him.
Thank you. Thank you. I first want to welcome everybody to the city of Washington and to the Hatchet House. This is a great venue and it's a great place to hold, host this. You know, the STEM program, what I've seen since I've been in office has came and grown so much. And, um, you know, it's amazing what the STEM program has become and what it's going to become in the future. I want to welcome the 26 teams that's here today, and I appreciate everybody coming out. Nobody realizes what this looks like until you see it in person. Uh, it's a great impact for the city of Washington. I'm very proud to have it here. WHS is, of course, where I graduated from, and it's great. I appreciate everything that what WHS has done to get it here today. Uh, I want to thank you out to, uh, of course, Mr. Reine for developing this, bringing it to Washington, and his um, continued support and where, when this thing's growing is unbelievable where it's going. Uh, Superintendent Kevin Frank, thank you. Uh, the school board for letting this happen here in the city of Washington and WHS. Uh, all the family members that's here, you know, I, I'm starting to learn what it takes and the support from everybody. And it's great to see the family members here to support the kids. And our program here locally has grown a lot. And what I like the best is that no matter what size school you are, you still have, you can still do this. I mean, we have Westgate just up the road. We got VU over to our west. Um, technology is coming so far and uh, it's, it's going to be very exciting to see where it goes. I want to thank all the volunteers that's here. I knew this is a big production. Uh, I, it takes a ton of volunteers and I want to thank the volunteers for um, being here and helping with this program. There again, I'm excited for this. I look forward to the next two days and where this is uh, the competition. I uh, want to say good luck to all the teams that's here and uh, all the uh, families and all the people here to watch. Enjoy Washington and if anything we can do to, for your stay and make it more enjoyable, just let us know. Thank you. Thank you so much, Mayor Rhodes. We are glad you can join us for your first, first event and we really appreciate you being here. Secondly, events in the state of Indiana would not be possible without our amazing partners such as Vincennes University. Next, please give a warm welcome to the director for the Center of Applied Robotics and Automation, Ms. Kim Wright. Hello, hello. Okay. So, uh, Vincennes University is super excited to be able to partner with Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana to sponsor this event. So, I am the director of the CARA Center, which is the Center for Applied Robotics and Automation. And so, part of our mission, we have three things that we're doing. CARA is a grant initiative that was established with a really generous endowment from the Lilly Foundation. And so what we try to do is, number one, we create a curriculum for high school and college students that involves robotics, fun, right? And then secondly, we want to support our uh, Indiana industries and give them the training and integration support they need uh, in the area of robotics and automation to be super productive and efficient. And then the third part of what we do, and the reason why I'm here, is that uh, we, similar to your core value of discovery, uh, the CARA Center wants to encourage and support any young folks like yourselves here that have an interest in robotics and automation. Um, and we want to continue to help you, uh, you know, explore those new ideas, learn those new skills uh, on your journey. So uh, I have actually um, a, a robotics student myself. So I started in the Vincennes University Robotics Department many moons ago in 1997, uh, graduated in 99, and I have been working in and around the robotics and automation field now for over 23 years. And so I can tell all of you young people here that it was hands down one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. This career has been extremely rewarding and really just a lot of fun. Um, so, the College of Technology uh, has been helping young people there at Vincennes University reach their educational goals, and so that's why we're really super grateful to be here today and be able to engage with you and support you uh, in this event. 
So I've actually only been involved, uh, you know, full transparency, been involved with uh, FIRST Robotics for about seven months now, but I have to say that I am completely blown away. All of you here, the organization, and all of you involved in it are just absolutely fantastic. It's been a super positive experience, and I can tell you that as long as I'm the director, Kara will be supporting uh, FIRST Robotics for the years to come. So, yes. Absolutely fantastic. So, I know you're all excited to get started. So without further ado, let's nurture one of your other core values and go have some fun. Thank you so much. I think it's very clear that Vincennes University is committed to the core values just as much as we are. Thank you for being here. All right, now it is time to recognize a group of volunteers that we all know and love wearing their fancy blue shirts. Please welcome our judges, led by judge advisor and first alum, Grant Carlisle. The judges want to hear your stories, your voices, your success, your challenges, and everything that you have done this season. This is a distinguished group from companies and organizations, so make sure you thank them for their time here today. We're very grateful for them. Judges, again, thank you for your time and your effort. I definitely do not envy the hard task that you have ahead of you with all of these amazing teams here today. And of course, there is also another group of volunteers that you will get to know during your time out here on the playing field. They are committed to making sure fair play is always on the table to help you play within the rules of the game and to help us all compete intensely while always remembering our gracious professionalism and cooperation. Their rulings are final, and there will be no video reviews. Of course, I'm talking about our wonderful referees, led by head referee Hope O'Connor. Please give them a round of applause. Along with a fair competition, as you all know, safety is always a priority at first. We want you to have fun and be safe all at the same time. Helping us achieve that goal, please welcome our safety manager, Kelly Welsh. Here at the event, we'd like to make sure you and your team all have a safety plan. So mentors, please communicate your safety plan and a designated meeting place to your team. And of course, congratulations to this year's Safety Animation Award winners, Team 8 Pally Robotics from Palo Alto, California. We will be playing their winning animation tomorrow during the playoffs, so make sure to stay tuned for that. And then of course, here at FIRST, we are all about teamwork, but we do have one award which recognizes an individual student and not just a team, and that is the Dean's List Award. Dean's List nominees, please stand and let's give them a huge round of applause for all of these amazing students. Congratulations, it is such an honor to be nominated by your team. Thank you so much for being outstanding leaders. And of course, I know I don't have to tell you all this, but as always, let's keep gracious professionalism a part of everything that we do here at the competition. During the award ceremony this, award ceremony this weekend, we'll be recognizing the nominees for the Woody Flowers Finalist Award. Named in honor, of course, for the late, great creator of Gracious Professionalism, Dr. Woody Flowers. These nominees are mentors who have been selected by their teams for their hard work, dedication, and support. Mentors and coaches are critical to the first experience, so let's give them a huge thank you for all the work that they do. Finally, just a couple venue housekeeping and safety reminders before we get started. Please note the location of the emergency exits, and note that there is a fire extinguisher here at the scoring table and at pit admin, and the first aid station is located in the atrium. Safety is everyone's responsibility, we all know that. So please, please, please help us keep 
walkways and exits clear. And if you see something unsafe, like a tripping hazard or a spill, please correct the issue immediately or ask pit admin for help. They are there for you always. And as you may have noticed, going up and down the stairs around here, um, some of the middle aisles do not have handrails. So please be safe, don't run, walk slowly, take care of each other. And no, if that's something that you're really worried about, there are handrails at kind of the corner areas. Um, so look out for those as well. So please just be careful, stay safe. Everyone here deserves to have a safe, nurturing, inclusive, and fun experience. So if something is making you feel uncomfortable, please find a trusted adult um, and ask for help. We're all here for you to support you. The first community, and especially the Finn fam, looks out for each other. Um, so if you see someone who might be struggling as well, please reach out, check in, and see if there's anything that we can do for them. Together, I know we can make this a super fun, safe, and exciting event. It is almost the moment that we've been waiting for, but first, please welcome Abby Nepp to sing the national anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight o'er the ramparts we watched were so gallantly streaming and the rocket's red glare the bombs bursting in air gave proof through the night that our flag was still there oh say does that star spangled Well, that was amazing. Thank you so much, Abby, for being here with us today. All right, well, without further ado, I'm so excited, and I know you all are too. Let's play with some robots. I know that we will all keep our gracious professionalism and core values at the heart of everything that we do. Let's go ahead and power up the robots and start the competition. Thanks, everybody.
Washington, I want to introduce you to the other voices that you'll be hearing today. Starting off with my fellow MC who needs no introduction, we have Carl Lansgren. Joining us as game announcers, we have the fantastic and multi-talented Bryce Castle. And finally, not only is he a Dean's List Award winner at the first championship, he is also my little brother, Trevor Langley. We are super excited to be here with you all today. So let's go ahead and meet our first set of teams. Starting us off on the Red Alliance, we have 8564. From Princeton, Indiana, it's the Disco <laughs> Ducks. Joining them here in the center, we have 3559. With students from Jasper High School, it's the Thundercats. And finally, rounding off our Red Alliance team, 8116. One of your home teams from Washington High School, it's Hatchet Robotics. Across the field on the Blue Alliance, we're starting out with Team 9453. With students from Mount Vernon Senior High School, it's the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Joining them in blue, we have Team 9491. From Sellersburg, Indiana, it's Crypto Creek. And finally, for the first match of the day, we have 5484. With their robot Raiju, it's Wolf Pack. Okay, we're ready for the first match of the day. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Well, first qualification match. Remember the first 15 seconds you're watching now is completely autonomous and pre-programmed. Robots moving of their own volition. 5484, that's Wolfpack, quickly delivering a note into the top part of their speaker. Each note delivered into the speaker during that first 15 seconds is worth five points. As we enter the teleoperated period, the human controllers have picked up their robots and are maneuvering them. It's, they've spent the last 12 weeks building these. 3559, that's the Thundercats delivering a note into that amp. The amp is that scoring location closer to the audience side. One point for every note scored there. A note are those orange rings that you see flying around. Depending on where you score them, they're worth different points. 94-53, maneuvering across the center of their field. They've got a tank mechanism. That's the three wheels on each side, allowing them to move quickly, but not quite as smooth. 85-64, that's the digital, the disco haircuts, moving, moving around the field now on the Blue Lions side of the field. Scores currently 30-23 to 23 in favor of the Blue Alliance. Both teams agreeing to cooperate. That's that handshake icon you see on the audience display. That means they've delivered a note to the amp and used it to cooperate with each other. 8116, that's Hatchet Robotics. They're from just across the street here in Washington, hoping to deliver a note into the top part of their speaker. Teams can choose to amplify their notes for additional points. They have to store up two first in the amp and then activate that 10 second time. Teams are looking to get 15 notes at that time for that ranking point bonus. That is what is gonna affect their scores here at the end of the match. A minute remaining, scores currently 34 to 24. 85 64 on the far side of the field, maneuvering quickly to deliver some notes from their human player station known as the Source. They're here to pick up those orange rings known as Notes. 81 16, looking to cause some defense here on the far side of the field. They're trying to prevent their opponents from scoring additional notes during this time. A lot of teams with that low form factor allowing them to head under the stage, which is that metallic structure you see a lot of teams will climb on here just in a few moments. 22 seconds remaining in the match. At 20 seconds, we heard that guitar riff. We'll start to see human players tossing those taped rings. They're hoping to land it on one of those posts on top of the stage successfully. There's an additional point for their alliance if there's a robot underneath it. Seven seconds. Red Alliance trying to climb a bunch of them. 34 and 55. That's the Techno Cats already above the ground. That's the end of qualification match one here at the Washington, sponsored by Toyota and Vincennes University.
And here are your scores for qualification match one here at Washington. Your winners are the Blue Alliance. With a score of 58, Overall Alliance is 29, nearly doubling it. They're getting three ranking points. That's two for winning the match and one for Melody. That means they've got enough notes during that match to crush that threshold. Let's now take a look at the game animation if you're curious about what you just saw. Welcome to the 2024 First Robotics Competition Game, Crescendo, presented by Haas. Two alliances of three teams each compete to score or play notes in three different field elements. Amplify their speaker, get on stage, harmonize, and take the spotlight before time runs out. Alliances earn additional rewards for meeting specific scoring thresholds and for cooperating with their opponents. Robots start each match inside their alliance's starting zone and may be preloaded with a note. During the first 15 seconds of the match, robots are autonomous and can be programmed to leave their starting zone, play preloaded notes in their speaker or amp, and collect and play additional notes. During the following 2 minutes and 15 seconds, drivers control their robots. Robots collect notes from human players at their source and play them in their amp and speaker. Each time an alliance plays two notes in their amp, the human player can hit a button to amplify their speaker for 10 seconds. Notes played in an amplified speaker are worth more points than those scored in an unamplified speaker. A human player may choose to play a note scored in their amp to cooperate with their opponent. If each alliance plays a note by hitting their cooperation button in the first 45 seconds of teleop, all teams in the match receive a cooperation point, which will influence a team's rank in the tournament. The number of played notes needed for a bonus ranking point is also reduced. Robots are protected from contact by their opponents when at their podium, off the ground, and during the last 20 seconds of the match while in contact with their stage. As time runs out, robots race to get on stage and deliver notes through the flap and into the trap. Bonus points are awarded for harmony when robots on stage use the same chain. On stage robots earn even more points if a human player spotlights the robots on a chain by scoring a note on the chain's corresponding microphone. The alliance that earns the most points wins the match. All right, it's time for match number two. Let's meet our second round of teams, starting us off with 15-01. Third for each team from Hunting in Indiana, it's Team Thrust. Joining them in red, we have Team 95-54. Hailing all the way from South Bend, it's the Portage Pythons. And finally, we have Team 39-47. Sponsored by High Flex Corporation, Huser Feed Company, Henry County Community Foundation, Newcastle Stainless Steel Plates, and Parts Auto Parts, it's the Last Crusaders. Across the field, appropriately in blue, we have Team 868. From Carmel, Indiana, it's the Tech Hounds. Joining them in the center, we have 3890. With their robot, Tony, it's breaking away. And finally, Team 2197. Sponsored by Helmet Aerospace Foundation, New Prairie United School Corporation, and Cleveland Cliffs Tech Tote, it's Las Pumas.
Okay, we have a thumbs up from our FTA. Let's get started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Remember, the first 50 seconds is all entirely pre programmed. Eight since eight, the tech outs of 1501 team thrust to the teams to keep your eye on here for the first 15 seconds. Both have been high performers at their previous competitions, able to score a multiple notes during the first little bit. As we enter the teleoperated period, the human controllers to pick up the robots that they have built over the past 12 weeks. 2197 Las Pumas showing off their mechanum wheels, allowing them to maneuver perpendicular to their plane of movement. 30, 3947, that's the last Crusaders. They're looking to deliver as many notes into any of those receptacles. It's two points for the speaker, one point for the amp. S scoring some notes in the amp, they can use them to amplify it later. Currently, the Red Alliance is green to that cooperation. Both teams have to press that red button, and that will lower the threshold required for that ranking point known as Melody. Scores currently 24 to 18. The Red Alliance just coming out of that amplified phase. That means they spent two of their notes in the amp to get additional points during that time. 1501 Team Thrust, a high performer over here on the Red Alliance source station. That's that human player station where additional notes can be brought into the field of play. 105 notes available throughout the match, most of those already on the field at the start of the game. Now that they've exhausted all of those, they'll need additional pieces from the source. Scores currently 26 to 37 in favor of the Red Alliance. It's now too late for the Blue Alliance to join in on that cooperation. So both teams will need that 18 notes to get that melody ranking point bonus less than a minute remaining in the match. 9554, that's the Portage Pythons currently hanging out on the red source station. They're trying to get that bumper on bumper action that is allowed as long as contact time is kept to a minimum. 2197 Las Pumas successfully picking up a game piece from their source station. They're making their way under their stage. A lot of teams designing for that lower threshold, allowing them for advanced maneuverability on the field of play. X68, the tech counts quickly shooting a note into the top part of their speaker. They are now a couple points away from tying it up. At 20 seconds, we hear that guitar riff. Human players will start to toss those notes to score additional points for their alliance. Red Alliance already has a note in the top part of their trap. That's five points. Teams needed to get 10 points total during that climb to get the ranking point. Blue Alliance with their attempt, 868, potentially placing one in the trap, just running out of time. Qualification match two here at Washington, sponsored by Vincent's University and Toyota Indiana. And here are your scores, qualification match two. Your winners are the Red Alliance with a score of 58, 15 points above Blue Alliance is 43. They're going to get two ranking points there for winning the match. Neither team is able to get that penalty or encore required for the additional ranking points. First match for most teams. We'll see you soon in qualification match three.
It's time to introduce our next round of teams. First, we have Team 5402. With their robot Supersonic Seymour, it's Reckless Robotics. Joining them, we have Team 7657. With students from New Tech Institute in Evansville, Indiana, it's the Thunderbots. And finally, we have Team 5188. Sponsored by Rose Holman Institute of Technology and Vigo County School Corporation from Terre Haute, Indiana. It's Classified Robotics. Across the field, we have Team 1720. They're a community-based team from Matthews, Indiana. It's Fixed Gears. In the center, we have Team 4485. With students from Danville, Indiana, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. And finally, to round us out for this match, we have 4926. Sponsored by Klein, King & King, Toyota Material Handling, Dorsell & Tracy L. Hadout Foundation, it's Galac Tech. All right, let's get started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. As per usual, the first 50 seconds is all autonomous. That means free program. 4926 Galactech making quick use of their note delivering into the top part of their speaker. Not to be outdone, Reckless Robotics 5402 delivering a note from the center of the field successfully into their speaker. Each speaker notes during that time was worth five. Now that we're in the teleop or controlled period, each of those is worth two. Unless it's amplified, you can amplify your speaker for 10 seconds by delivering two notes to the amp. Each thing delivered in the amp is worth one point. 5188 sitting just in front of their speaker station, potentially waiting to deliver. 4485 making use of a strategy we saw last weekend, storing up notes on their side of their alliance decreasing that travel time required from picking up a note to delivering it. Again, the note is a fancy word for those orange rings that you're seeing on the field of play. 1720, that's six gears. They're from Matthew, Indiana, a community team doing great this weekend, already maneuvering quickly around the field, making use of their swerve mechanism. That allows them to drive in any direction that they see fit. A lot of teams are stuck in the tank drive still. 7657, that's Thunderbots. They're a team out of Evansville, Indiana. They're over there on their side of the source. The source is that name for the station where additional game pieces can be brought into the field of play. With 70 seconds reigning the match, scores currently 24 to 30 in favor of the Red Alliance. Both teams have agreed to cooperation. That's that handshake icon you see. That's lowering the threshold point from 18 to 15. 4926, that's Galactech making quick use of their short drive mechanism to drive under the stage. Many teams doing that to give advanced maneuverability. Lots of bumper and bumper action from 5402. That's Reckless Robotics. They've got a note stuck and they cannot pick up additional notes. That's one note per robot. So they're trying to get it knocked off by ramming into other robots. That is allowed as long as contact is kept to a minimum. Reckless Robotics seems to be successful picking up the note that was stuck and now delivering it into their station. Just one point difference between these teams with 30 seconds remaining. Here in a few moments, we'll hear that guitar riff at 20 seconds. Here it is. That means we're into that end game period. Human players will start to toss those rings. Different strategies for many different teams. We'll also start to see robots climbing. They're hoping to get 10 points from that climb in the end game period to get that ranking point bonus. A lot of teams choosing to instead score final points, 17-20, quickly above the ground. A few seconds remaining. That was the end of qualification match here, here at Washington, sponsored by Toyota and Vincennes University.
And here are your scores, qualification match three. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 42, just one point difference between the two teams here. Red Alliance getting those two ranking points for winning. Not enough points in the amp or the speaker for those additional melody ranking points. Red Alliance taking that win, which is one point difference. Let's meet some more teams. First of all, we have team 3452. All the way from Barron Springs, Michigan, it's the Green Engineers. Joining them in the center over on the Red Alliance, we have team 3176. With students from Brownsburg High School, it's Purple Precision. And joining them in red, rounding off the alliance, we have Team 7454. Sponsored by Toyota Manufacturing Indiana, Ivy Tech Community College, Sickless Engineering, and Prodigy Tool and Divine Matrix, it's Huskies on Hog. Over on the blue side of the field, we are starting off with Team 4008. From Pike Central High School, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. Joining them in blue, we have Team 8430. One of our two home teams this weekend from Washington, Indiana, it's the Hatch Bats. And finally, we have Team 6498. With students from Castle High School, the robot's name is Da Vinci, it's Castle Robotics.
Thumbs up, you know what that means. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. The first 50 seconds is completely autonomous. It's the only time robots can get points for movement alone. 4,008, that's Theodore Roosevelt's disco haircut making use of that movement points. To that's, I believe, two points for their alliance. 3776, so that's Purple Precision making quick work of the notes on their side of the field. Scoring a handful of them, five points for each of those scored during the autonomous period. As we enter the tele-operated, human people have picked up their controllers. 3457 with a spare piece off of their robot. Seems like they may have left some pliers on the field. 8430 now quickly delivering a note to their source station. They'll pick up game pieces from that area and deliver them into either receptacle. The blue lines with the note stuck on the top part of their speaker. They'll need to push that in to score an additional points for their alliance. Two points for every note in the speaker. Five if it's amplified. Lots of bumper and bumper action here in the center of the field as teams make their way diagonally from the pickups place to the delivery. That bumper and bumper action is allowed as long as contact time is kept to a minimum. 3452, that's that team from Michigan. The Green Engineers, high performers, and they're looking to play down here in Indiana for some additional time before they head off to their state championships. 64-94, sorry, 64-98, that's the Castle Robotics team. The robot's name is Leonardo da Vinci. They're sliding quickly under the stage, that low form factor allowing them to manipulate their climb mechanisms with ease. 74-54, that's Huskies on Hog, just down the road here in Evansville, Indiana. This is their home game. Hoping to get as many points as possible. 34, 25, sorry, to 65 in favor of the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance agreeing to that cooperation, but time has run out for the Red Alliance to activate it. They are, however, amplifying their station. No score during that 10 second amplified time is worth additional points for their alliance. 6498 Castle Robotics hoping to deliver a note into the top part of their speaker. They're going to have to get it into their shooting mechanism or do that. 30 seconds remaining in the match. Two quick succession of shoots notes from the Red Alliance. Remember, each robot can only hold one note at a time. So those two notes probably came from two different robots. We heard that guitar riff. You and players will start to toss their notes. Their objective is to get it onto that post above a climbing robot. The Red Alliance choosing to climb two on the same chain. That's three for each robot and a bonus two for climbing together. Leonardo da Vinci, that's 6498, just hanging on by a thread. But as long as they remain elevated, they'll get those climb points. That was the end of qualification match four here at Washington, sponsored by Toyota of Indiana and Vincennes University. And here are your scores. Probably should match four. Your winners are the Red Alliance. Miles away with a score of 84, our new high score for the event. They're getting two ranking points for winning and one for that melody. That means they scored enough notes during that time, those orange rings, to get above that threshold. Teams now high scoring. They're trying to keep that ranking point average as high as possible as we continue the Washington event sponsored by Indiana Manufacturing and Vincennes University.
All right, it's time for match number five. Starting us off, we have 8116. With their robot Schmelvin, it's Hatchet Robotics. Joining them, we have Team 1747. With students from William Henry Harrison High School, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. And finally, we have Team 868. Sponsored by Apex Medical, Electrum, Elevance Health, Corteva, and Kula Logistics from Carmel, Indiana, it's the Tech Hounds. Across the field in blue, we're starting out with Team 1501. Their robot's name is Thunderstruck, it's Team Thrust. Joining them in the middle, we have Team 234. With students from Perry Meridian High School, it's Cyber Blue. And finally, for this match, we have Team 9453. It's a rookie team from Mount Vernon, Indiana. It's the Mount Vernon Wildcats. Okay, let's get this match started. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. First 15 seconds, as usual, are completely pre-programmed. 1501 and 868 are both teams to watch. High performers in the autonomous period. We saw a similar lineup just a few matches ago, but in different positions. Team 868 quickly delivering a couple of notes, scoring lots of points for their alliance. That's five points for each of those scored in the speaker. 1501 not to be outdone, doing pretty good as well. As we enter the teleoperative period, human players have picked up their controllers and moving the robots that their team built over the last 12 weeks. 868, the tech outs up to bumper and bumper against Team 1501. Teams are trying to minimize their cycle time. That's the time between picking up a note and delivering it. There's two places to deliver notes this year, one in the amp for a point each, or for two points each in the speaker, unless it's amplified. 81-16, just pushing the, the speaker by a few inches, but, but they're able to pick up their game piece quickly. 1747, that's Harrison Boiler Robotics from the Lafayette area. They're quickly delivering a note into their amp station. One point for each of those. Blue Alliance currently agreeing to co petition. That means they spent one of those notes trying to lower that threshold. The Red Alliance now joining them. Teams only needing 15 of those notes scored in either receptacle for that additional ranking point. 234, that's Cyber Blue from Indianapolis, Indiana, getting some own defense from their, their teammates. They're trying to de shoot those game pieces into the speaker as quickly as possible. 70 seconds remaining in the match, scores 26 to 57 in favor of the Red Alliance. Blue Alliance currently needing nine more notes to get to that threshold. The Red Alliance already well above it. They will need that additional ranking point during the climb phase, but they have a minute left to make that decision. 94-53, that's Mount Vernon Wildcats. They're one of our rookie teams just showing off their climber in a box and their tank drive mechanism. They're waiting over there in the source station. 1501 quickly scoring that note into the trap. It appears that they're successful. They might sit up there for the rain of the match. They're heading down actually to score additional points in the remaining 30 seconds. 868, the tech outs now also going for their trap time with plenty of time remaining. They're hoping to just shove it a little bit. It looks like they're successful. They're a human player trying to highlight spotlight now. They're trying to land it on top of that spoke. Doing so will give the team an additional bonus point. Red Alliance trying to get all three robots climbing. Blue Alliance trying to match them. Scores 36 to 76, a few seconds remaining. And that will be about it for qualification match five here at Washington, sponsored by Vincennes University and Toyota Indiana.
And here are your scores, qualification match five. Your winners are the Red Alliance with a new high score of 94 here at the Washington event, a four ranking point match. That's two for winning, one for Melody, that's scoring notes, and an additional one for Encore, scoring lots of points in the stage. Four ranking points is known as a unicorn. All the teams on the Red Alliance gaining in their positions. Stay tuned for qualification match six. All right, we have another fantastic set of teams out here on the field. Starting up, we have Team 2197. From New Prairie High School, it's Las Pumas. Joining them in the center, we have Team 4926. Already qualified for district champs from Columbus, Indiana, it's Galactic. And finally, we have Team 5188. Sponsored by Rose Holman Institute of Technology and the Vigo County School Corporation, and it's Area 5188 Classified Robotics. Over in blue, we have Team 8564. It's their fourth season. They're from Princeton, Indiana. It's the Disco Ducks. Joining them, we have Team 7657. Down the road in Evansville, Indiana, with their robot Fido, it's Thunderbots. And finally, we have Team 5484. They change lives, build robots. It's the Wolf Pack. Thumbs up, drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. First 50 seconds, completely autonomous. The only time you get points for movement alone, 76, 57, that's Thunderbots quickly passing their line. 46, 26, Lashtag trying to grab that note, but just shy of picking it up. Scores 19 to 21, both teams scoring about evenly. Las Pumas trying to just sneak in a last couple of points, but that was the end of the autonomous period as we move into Tally Operated. It's now human controlled. Blue line shooting and trying to store as many notes on their side of the field as possible. If they exit the field of play, they might get some penalty points. 2176, Las Pumas showing off their mechanum drive, allowing them to move orthogonal to their direction of motion. Their team human player behind the source making use of a foam finger to communicate with his drive team. 2926 has that li the light they see on the ground. Use them helps them position around on the field, trying to score as many points as possible. Scores currently 23 to 30 in favor of the Red Alliance. Red Alliance already agreeing to that cooperation bonus. 
Both teams, though, need to uh, expend one of those points to lower that threshold. 54-84, that's Wolfpack delivering notes across the field. This is a new strategy we've seen by teams last week. They keep one robot close to the speaker scoring points. That's two points for every note delivered into the speaker, unless it's amplified. Those are five points each. A speaker can be amplified by scoring two notes into the amp and then pressing the button when the lights are lit up. You'll have to keep a close eye on the human player station during that time. 55 seconds reigning to match. Currently two points separate these teams. That's one note into the speaker or two into the amp. Eighty-five, sixty-four. that's the Disco Ducks from Princeton, Indiana, already sitting underneath their stage preparing for a potential climb. They can do that at almost any point during the match, but it will only be counted five seconds after the end of it. 30 seconds remaining. We'll hear that guitar riff shortly. Lots of bumper on bumper action here in the center of the field. Red and blue Lions trying to get on different sides. Red Alliance still trying to score a couple extra notes. Their human player already spotlighting, going for potential scoring of both sides. Blue Lions trying to fit two robots on the same chain. That's three robots, three points for every robot elevated, and you get additional points for same on the chain. One above for the Red Alliance, one for the Blue. We'll have to see how these scores total up for Qualification Max 6 here at Washington events, sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University. And here are your scores for that qualification match. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 52 to 51, one point different. That could be one score in the amp. Two points, two ranking points for the Red Alliance for winning that match. Most of the teams advancing in the rankings. Stick tune for qualification match seven. If your team has a flag, we'd love to wave it down on the field. Make sure that's brought with your drive team and delivered to your driver's station so we can wave it on the field. Again, if your team has a flag, please bring it. We'd love to wave it.
Okay, I've been hearing a lot of great chanting out in the crowd already, so I expect a lot of audience participation with this. Please give it up for Team 3890. Sponsored by Moreau Community Foundation School Corporation and Boston Scientific and Jackson Bellish Foundation Group. It's breaking away. And joining them on the Red Alliance, make some noise for Team 3947. They're from Knightstown High School, and they're sponsored by Hyflex Corporation, Hooser Feeder Company, Henry County Foundation, Newcastle Stainless Steel Plates, and Napa Auto Foundation Parts. It's the last Crusaders. And rounding out our Red Alliance, give it up for Team 3452. They're that Michigan team, and they're sponsored by Barron Springs Public School, Whirlpool, and Friends for Barron Springs, Lockheed Martin, and Fab and Weld. It's the Green Engineers. Make some noise for our Red Alliance, but moving over to the blue side of the field, let's start off with Team 6498. They're from Newsburg, Indiana. They're sponsored by Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Indiana, El Coil Foundation, USI Roman College School of Business and Matrix, and Coil Enterprise. It's Castle Robotics. Joining them, let's hear some applause for Team 1720. They're that really cool community-based team out of Matthews, Indiana. They're sponsored by Inmac, Dalcher Place, the Community Foundation of Great County, and Progress Rail. It's Fixed Gears. And finally, make some noise for Team 9491. They're from Sellersburg, Indiana, Silver Creek High School. It's Crypto Creek. Make some noise for our two alliances as we get ready to start the match. All right, let's keep this energy going. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. All right, hold on just a second, everybody. All right, let's try this again. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. New for this season is the autonomous stop. That's what we were just playing with. Teams can choose to stop their autonomous code from running during the first 15 seconds. Blue Lions not choosing to do that. 6498 high performer trying to grab as many notes as possible and deliver it into their speaker or amp during that first 15 seconds. As we exit the autonomous period, that A stop is still pressed, but it doesn't matter. We're now totally operated, meaning that human players are picking up their controllers and maneuvering their robot that their team built over the past 12 weeks. 6498, that's Castle Robotics. They'll try to deliver a note into their amp. Team's trying to get that cooperation bonus as soon as possible, since you can't play it after halfway through the match. 3452, that's the Grengineers from Michigan, they're up here on the far side of the field dealing with some potential movement issues, but they'll get those resolved throughout the match. Some bumper on bumper action on the middle of the field from 1720 and 3474. That's allowed as long as they keep that contact to a minimum. I am loving the googly eyes on 1720. That's fixed gears from Matthews, Indiana. Scores currently 25 to 9 in favor of the Blue Alliance. It's now too late to agree to cooperation, so that 18 note threshold is where it will stay. Again, a note are those orange rings you see on the field of play. They'll come out of the human player source station. Ninety-four, ninety-one. that's Crypto Creek, one of our rookie teams for this year, featuring their Chimera blocks and lots of weights to offset their mechanism. They're hoping to climb here in the last couple seconds and gain additional points for their alliance. It will be three points for every robot that climbs, and an additional two points if they can get more robots on the same chain. 34, 97, that's the last Crusaders, I believe, quickly delivering notes that they've stored up for their alliance. It appears that they're able to clear 
kicked in from the side of their robot and delivered it into their speaker station. Two points for each of those notes into the speaker on Amplified. Scores currently 37 to 17 in favor of the Blue Alliance. 30 seconds remaining in the match. In a few moments, we'll hear that guitar riff right here. That means human players can start throwing those taped rings on top of those posts above the stage. Their goal is to land it above a place where a robot has climbed, scoring an additional one point for their alliance. We've already seen two or three matches today where that could have made the difference. Blue Alliance, it appears, trying to get all three robots above the ground. Red Alliance trying for two. They have to stay up there for the last five seconds for it to count. But that's Qualification Match 7 here at Washington Event, sponsored by Vincennes University in Toyota of Indiana. And here are your scores for that last qualification match. Your winners are the Blue Alliance with a score of 38 to Red Alliance's 26. The Red Alliance team 34-52 receiving a yellow card for violation of G409. That's possession of multiple game pieces, three or more, during that match for an extended period of time. So they'll receive that yellow card, but Blue Alliance getting two ranking points for that win. We'll see you soon in qualification match eight.
Okay, let's introduce our next set of teams. Starting us off, we have 8430. We've invaded their high school for the weekend from Washington, Indiana. It's the Hatch Batch. Joining them in red, we have Team 234. Sponsored by Allison Transmissions, Rev Robotics, Rudland, Perry Meridian Falcon Boosters, and our proud grandmas from Perry Meridian High School, it's Cyber Blue. And finally, on our Red Alliance, we have Team 1747. From West Lafayette, Indiana, they're the Harrison Boiler Robotics. They're sponsored by Caterpillar, Purdue University, Inmac, Arconic, and the McAllister Foundation. Over on the blue side of the field, we are starting out with Team 4008. Sponsored by Toyota, Andy Mark Argos Foundation, the Allied Automation of Petersburg Hardware, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. Joining them on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 4485. With the robot Gia, they're sponsored by Duke Energy Waste and Management, it's Tribe Tech Robotics. And for our final team on the Blue Alliance, we have Team 3559. Sponsored by Toyota Motor Manufacturing Indiana, Crane Navasi and Jasper Engines. From Jasper, Indiana, it's the Thundercats. All right, it's the moment we've been waiting for. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. Welcome to the autonomous period for this match. Remember, first 50 seconds completely pre-programmed as usual. 234, quickly delivering two notes into the top part of the speaker. One of them stuck in the top of the speaker on the Red Alliance side. Blue Alliance currently sitting pretty. Remember, points for just crossing the line during that autonomous period. As we enter the teleoperative phase, we are now controlled by their human players. They built these robots over the past 12 weeks and now proud to be controlling them along with their friends in the stands. 3559, that's the Thundercats quickly maneuvering to pick up game pieces for their alliance. They're over here on the Blue Alliance side, getting a little bit bumpied and bullied around by the Red Alliance, but as long as that bumper on bumper action is kept to a minimum, that is allowed. Red Alliance already agreeing to cooperation, lowering the threshold required. They need the Blue Alliance to join in on that by pressing the yellow button. 4008, Theodore Roosevelt's disco haircut in the middle of the playing field here. 
trying to cause as much chaos for their opponents to decrease the amount of points that they can score. 234, Sire Blue unfazed by that, quickly delivering two notes into their speaker. Their team choosing to amplify that, so that 10 second amplification means that any notes entering the speaker during that time is worth five points each. That should shoot the Red Alliance high into first place with 32 points over Blue Alliance is 11. Blue Alliance is not agreeing to cooperation. That threshold will remain at 18 for that ranking point. 1747 currently in that first place with four ranking point average. We'll have to see if they can maintain that after this match. A minute remaining and plenty of points still to be scored. Blue Alliance human player station known as the source sitting with plenty of notes pretty and ready for their teams to pick up. 4485. That's Tribe Tech Robotics trying to score a note now into their speaker. Still working out a lot, a lot of their kinks, but able to drive around pretty straight with that tank drive. Red Alliance now moving to amplify their scores for the following 10 seconds. You can keep track of how much time is remaining by watching this countdown on the speaker itself or on the scoreboard. Red Alliance now far and above that threshold. They'll go that ranking point, but plenty of time remaining in the match. 20 seconds. There's that riff. We'll start to see human players tossing their rings to score additional points for their alliance. This is one of the few opportunities for a human player to score. It's been robots this whole time. 7047 now moving to move, uh, moving to climb on their side of the field. 234 Cyber Blue trying to do the same as we wind down our time. The Red Alliance is looking pretty good. That was the end of qualification match eight here at the Washington District, sponsored by Toyota Indiana and Vincennes University. And here are your score of qualification match eight. Your winners are the Red Alliance. With a score of 69, I score up there, not quite close to the blue score. Three ranking points for them. That's two for winning and one for Melody. Scoring enough points in the speaker and the amp to break over that threshold. Qualification in match nine up here shortly.
All right, you will definitely be hearing more from Bryce throughout the event, but for now, we're going to bring Trevor on as our game announcer for the next several matches. For this one, we are going to start out with Team 7454. From North High oh. School, and they're sponsored by Toyota Motor Manufacturing, Inc., Ivy Tech Community College, Keolis Engineering, Prodigy Tool, and Diamatrix. They're Huskies on Hogs. Joining them in red, we have Team 9554. From Career Academy, South Bend. They're sponsored by T-Slot by Bono Aluminum, Gold State Automotive, and Harbor Freight Tools. It's Portage Pythons. And finally, on the Red Alliance, we have Team 7657. From the New Tech Institute, they're sponsored by Toyota Manufacturing and NASA. It's the Thunderbots. Moving over across the field, we're starting out with Team 5402. From Logan Sport and Lewis Cass High School, sponsored by INMAC, FCA Foundation, Logan Sports, Morrow Hospital, Iron Monger Springs, and Logan Stamping, it's Reckless Robotics. Joining them in blue, we have Team 3176. From Brownsburg High School, sponsored by Beckman Coulter, Carrier Corporation, Cornerstone Industries, Wells Global, and Wells Global West. It's Purple Precision. And finally, for this Blue Alliance, we have Team 1501. From Huntington, Indiana, sponsored by PhD Inc., Yamaha Eco Labs, 4H Steel Dynamics. It's Team Thrust. All right, we have a thumbs up. You know what that means. Drivers behind the line. Three, two, one, crescendo. All right, qualification match number nine is now underway. Team 1501 starting off strong with a multi-tie game piece. Auto oh, you can see them moving over to that center line, collecting those notes and delivering them to that speaker. Each note delivered in the speaker during the autonomous period is worth five points. We now move into Telioff, where the score is 34 to 7, favoring the Blue Alliance. Team 7657 picking up a note using their ground intake system. Going to try to deliver that to that speaker. 7454 delivering a note into the amp. They can either use those points scored in the amp to get the cooperation bonus or amplify their speaker for extra points. 5402 navigating around to that. Blue Alliance source, you can see some defense being played by 7657 trying to slow down those Blue Alliance cycles. See a traffic jam in the middle of the field, 3176, that's purple precision. They've got a note line loaded up in their robot. They're going to try to score that in either the note, either the amp or the speaker. 5402 gets two points for the Blue Alliance in that speaker. We have a minute 25 left in the match. You can see some defense being played on the Red Alliance by 3176. 1501 has a note loaded up in the robot. They're bringing that over to the amp. Going to try to amplify that speaker. That will increase the amount of points scored for each note from two points to five points. 7454 and 9554 both loading up at that Red Alliance source. Going to bring that over to the Red Alliance wing. 50 seconds left in this match. The score is 53 to 26, Blue Alliance. Lots of defense being played in this match. You can see the cent that's at that blue wing. 1501 has a note load up in the robot. They're going to try to score that in the trap. That's five points for their alliance. And they, you can see they climbed onto that chain and they're coming off to grab another note. They're going to go for the double trap. 7657 is at their stage. They're going to try to climb that chain. 95-54, also on stage. 15-1, team thrust is up, scoring a note into that trap. Five seconds left in that match. Three, two, one. And that's the match. We'll have the final scores shortly.
Sorry. <laughs> and the winners of that match, it's the Blue Alliance. Winning 36 to 30. Five penalty points were awarded to the Red Alliance in that match. All right, that's... Hello, Indiana. Test, test, one, two, three, test. Test, test. One, two, three. Ah, much, much better. All right, that lovely little sound means it's a match. It's time for match number 10. We're going to start this off by introducing one of the teams with one of the most unique robot names here, Leonardo da Vinci. It's 6498. From Castle High School, it's Castle Robotics. Their alliance partners dancing on down from Princeton Community High School. It's 8564. From Princeton Community High School, they're the Disco Ducks. Their alliance partners 3452. From Berrien Springs High School in Michigan, it's the Green Engineers.
Over here on the Blue Alliance side, these crazy cats looking to take down the competition. It's a 94-53. From Mount Vernon Senior High School, it's Mount Vernon Wildcats. They're Alliance partners. When there's cats, there's always dogs. It's 8-6-8. From Carmel High School, they're the Tech Hounds. And rounding out after Cats Dogs, we have one giant rolling boulder and 39-47. From Kingstown High School, they're the last Crusaders. We have a thumbs up from FTA. Drivers behind the lines. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. The autonomous period is now underway. 868, collecting those three game pieces from the center. They're now moving over to that center line. I'm gonna try to shoot those notes into that speaker. The score is nine to 17, favoring the Red Alliance as we head into the teleoperated period. The drivers are now have full control over their robots. 39-47 is at the center line. They're collecting that note from the ground, gonna bring that back to their side. 64-98, bringing the note back to their speaker. They're gonna try to score that high, and they do. That's two points for their alliance. Thirty-four fifty-two, collecting a note at center field. Those red alliance keep piling notes into that speaker. 39-47 has now scored in that speaker. Looks like 868's communications are down. I'm sure they'll get their robot running very soon. Thirty-four fifty-three. they're playing defense on that center line. Going to try to slow down those red alliance cycles. About a minute 15 left in this match. Scores 15 to 28, still any player's game. 58-64 at that human player station. Got a note loaded up in their robot, gonna bring it over to their alliance side. And they do score in that speaker. Minute left in the match. Thirty-nine forty-seven has a note loaded up in their robot. And they score it high. Thirty-five seconds left in this match. That means pretty soon these robots are gonna make it over to the stage. Gonna try to get some of those precious endgame points. You heard that guitar riff. That means it's time for those human players to try to throw those high notes onto the speakers. If they successfully land those notes on the microphone, it will spotlight their robot on the stage. Three seconds left in this match. Those robots are going to try to climb. 39-47 is off the ground, and that's the match. We'll have the scores shortly. And the scores are in. Your winner are the Red Alliance with a score of 44 points to 21. They will be taking home two ranking points for winning that match. There are no penalties in that game. We'd love to see it.
Next up, qualification match number 11. They're from out of this world. It's 49-26. From Columbus North and Columbus East High Schools, it's Galactech. Dancing on down with the best haircuts this century, it's 4008. From Pike Central High School, it's Theodore Roosevelt's Disco Haircut. And, oh, it's 54-84. From Career Academy South Bend, it's the Wolf Pack. Over on the opposite side of the field, with three of the four Ducks of Justice, it's 35-59. From Jasper High School, they're the Thundercats. They faked the moon landing not once, not twice, but that's classified. It's 5188. From Vigo County High School is their area of 5188 classified robotics. And rebuilding their entire robot in just 40 hours, it's 1747. From William Henry Harrison High School, it's Harrison Boiler Robotics. We have a thumbs up from the FTA. Drivers behind the lines. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. Match 11 is now underway. 5188 and 1741, both scoring a no into that speaker. 5484 has their auto going. They are scoring multiple notes in that speaker and collecting them using that ground intake. We now begin the tele-operated period. 5188 has a note loaded up in their robot, and they successfully scored that into that speaker. 5484 collecting from using their ground intake. 1747 scoring a note into their Blue Alliance amp. They're going to use that cooperation bonus. 5484 just scored a note, and they're heading over to the source. Going to try to have as fast cycle time as possible. 1741 just takes that note directly from underneath 5484. Really close play there. They score that into their amp. 4008 playing some defense, trying to prevent 1747 and 3959 from getting to their source. 4926 using their vision alignment system. They're going to grab that note and bring it over to the red alliance side. 5484 is collecting some notes from their source and they're throwing them over so that their alliance partner, 4926, can score them. That's allowing them to have quicker cycle times by using that teamwork. About a minute left in this match, 5188 using that ground intake, going to shoot that note into their speaker. And they do score two points for the Blue Alliance. 5484 and 4926 continuing that strategy of throwing those notes over to the Red Alliance wing. Looks like 5484 is going to score one for themselves as well. 3559 has a note loaded up. They're using that articulated shooter to throw it into their speaker. About 30 seconds left in this match. We'll soon see robots going over to their stage. 4926 going to try to score Another piece before that last 20 seconds of the match. They do score that into their speaker. 5188 scoring, is about to score a note into their speaker, and they do that successfully. 1741 is up. 4008 is up on their stage. Five seconds left in this match. 4926 successfully gets off the ground. And that's the match. We'll have the scores very soon.
And the winner of that match is the Red Alliance. Scoring 68 to 50. They will be taking home two ranking points for the win and an extra Melody ranking point. That's for scoring a above the required threshold in the speaker. Let's introduce our teams for qualification match number 12. Starting it off, requesting two Krakens. It's 2.34. From Perry Meridian High School in Indianapolis, Indiana, they're Cyber Blue. They're Alliance Partners. Can I get a yeehaw? Yee it's 7454. From North High School, they're Huskies on Hogs. And rounding out this alliance, Dragon's Request. It's 9491. From Silver Creek High School in Sellersburg, Indiana, it's Crypto Creek. Over on the opposite side of the field, their name ain't Ralph, but they're sure looking to wreck it. It's 5402. From Logan Sport and Lewis Cass High School in Walton, Indiana, they're Reckless Robotics. Their alliance partners, the hostess with the mostess, it's 8116. From Washington High School in Washington, Indiana, they're Hatchet Robotics. And rounding out this alliance, they're looking to break it down with, if they don't have a bright mental breakdown, it's 3890. From Bloomington High School South in Bloomington, Indiana, they're breaking away.
We have a thumbs up from FTA. Drivers, back behind those lines. Let's start this off in three, two, one, crescendo. As always, the first 15 seconds of this match are entirely autonomous, meaning the drivers are not operating their robots right now. It's entirely pre-programmed by the students. 5402 scoring multiple game pieces in this autonomous period. Scores 24 to 12 as we move into the teleoperated period. Now the drivers have full control over their robots. 3491 making their way over to the Blue Alliance side of the field. They're going to go to that Red Alliance source and bring some game pieces back to their side. 234 is at the Red Alliance amp, trying to score a point into that amp. Points scored in the amp can be contributed to using the amplification of the speaker. That will increase the amount of points scored for in the speaker from 2 to 5. 3890 has a note loaded up in their robot, and they successfully put it into that amp. 8116 looks like they're lining up for that speaker, going to try to shoot that note high, and they do. That's two points for their alliance. The Red Alliance speaker is currently amplified, meaning all points scored into that speaker are going to be crucial towards the final score of this match. 74-54 navigating uh, behind, underneath those stages for both the red and the blue alliance. Make it over to their speaker, score an extra two points for their alliance. 38-90 playing some defense on 94-91, trying to slow down their cycle time and prevent them from getting to that source. 94-91 just makes it away and gets a note loaded up in the, to the robot from the human player. 50 seconds left in, that, in this match. It's currently 17 to 48, favoring the Red Alliance. Lots of action going on in center field with this defense being played by the Blue Alliance. 81-16, using their swerve drive to navigate around this field. Two thirty-four coming away with a note, going to bring that over to their speakers. There's now 20 seconds left in that match. That means it's time for those human players to throw those high notes onto the microphones. It's a very challenging aspect of the game this year. 54.02 and 81.16 going for the double climb on that stage. 234 is off the ground. And that's the match. We'll have our final scores very soon. Our scores are in for this match. The winner is the Red Alliance with a score of 59 to 20. They will be taking home three ranking points in that match. Two for winning the match and an extra for the Melody ranking point. Five penalty points were awarded to the Red Alliance in that match.
It's time to introduce our teams. This team, they're hatching up a plan, looking to bake up a batch of destruction. And that's right, they successfully beat me in a 2v3 in growing match of rock, paper, scissors. It's 8430! From Washington, Indiana, they're the Hatch Batch. Next up, they're more than just a tribe. They're the whole dang family. It's 4485. From Danville, Indiana, they're Tribe Tech Robotics. And rounding it off, there's eyes on the hat, staring down the eyes of the great googly moogly on the opposite side of the field. It's 3176. They're currently our number one ranked team. It's Purple Precision. Over here on the Blue Alliance side, they're looking to see the competition. It's 1720. From Matthews, Indiana, they're fixed gears. Next up with their robot, Worbly, it's 9554. From South Bend, they're the Portage Pythons. And rounding out this alliance, this team really, really likes robots. It's 9170 or 2197. From New Prairie High School, they're Las Pumas. We have a thumbs up from FTA. Drivers behind the line. Let's kick this thing off in three, two, one, crescendo. All six robots attempting to score that preloaded game piece into the speaker. 3176 on their third game piece in this autonomous period, and they're going to go for a fourth one. We now move on to the teleoperated period, meaning the robots are entirely driven by their drivers. 4485 collecting some game pieces from the center line, and they're going to shoot those over to their alliance side so their alliance partners can score those. 8430 encountering some defense from 1720. They're trying to slow down those Red Alliance cycle times, reducing the number of points the Red Alliance can score in this match. 2197 scores a game piece while moving. 8430 collecting a note from the human player station. It's called the Source. Seventeen twenty continuing to play defense, preventing 8430 from making it over to their line side, and they have them well pinned. 9554 collecting some of those points from the Red Alliance. 4485 just collected a note from their Red Alliance area. They're going to score that into the speaker and immediately move over to another one. Try to get those cycle times as quick as possible with a minute left in this match. It's currently 28 to 27 favoring the Blue Alliance, but it is anybody's game. 
Each of these alliances are going to try to score as many points as they can into that speaker to try to make the difference here. It's looking like it is going to come down, however, to that end game where the robots will try to climb on those chains. 3176 scoring a note into that speaker. Every note counts here at the Washington District events brought to you by Toyota. 25 seconds left in this match. It's still a close one. That guitar riff means it's time for those human players to start throwing those notes onto the microphone. They're going to try to spotlight their robots. 1720 is currently parked at their stage. Two seconds left in this match. And that's the match. It is currently tied 32 to 32. We will see how it goes with the final scores, but it is absolutely any alliances game here at Washington. Our final scores are in. The winner of that match is the Red Alliance. Taking home the win with 39 points to 33. It did come down to that end game period. Five penalty points were awarded to the Red Alliance in that match, and they take home two ranking points for that win. And with that, folks, we had a wonderful morning of robot matches, but it is now time for your lovely, lovely lunch break. Now, a couple of announcements before I officially go on break. First off, outside of gate three, that is going to be on my left, your right. Gate three, my left, your right. There is going to be food trucks out there. Also on my left, your right, up near the top of the stands, there is a 360 photo booth put on and provided by Hatchet Robotics and their lovely school here. Uh, with that, again, food trucks, gate three, photo booth. We'll see you guys all back at 2 o'clock for more robot action. Enjoy lunch, you guys. We'll see you then.